Tracy here. I just thought I'd share with you a few cards that I had made. They are for a swap and there was supposed to be a female celebration card, a male celebration card, and two cards of our choice. So this is one of the cards of my choice and it's a very simple card. I wasn't sure where my partner was from. I had made these before I knew where my partner was from so I'm trying to I tried to keep them as flat as I can just in case they had to go to the UK or someplace like that because you know the shipping from Canada is expensive anywhere but so I want to try to keep them as flat as I can just use some pattern paper and back to everything with black because it makes it pop this is a stamp that my girlfriend just said oh you should use this stamp it's really nice so I did and then I colored it with some what did I color it with I don't know I might have colored it with my water pencils. I might have colored it with that. I should really keep up on writing those things in. So yes, I colored it with my watercolor pencil. I just like how it pops on the black. And then here is the second card. This was a set, these stamps were a set, I think, of four, I'm not sure. Because they're not mine, they were my friends, so I'm not exactly sure. And again, I popped it up I backed it up on the black which makes it pop and then I used my watercolors um, pencil crayons to color them in and I even had to color in some of the black because when I stamped it it wasn't totally like a crisp clean full black so I had to color it color the background black and then the inside I just did that I might add some white paper here if she wanted to write a sentiment in there and then this is the celebration for a masculine card and I was trying to do something and it failed. I should have kept the one that failed even worse than this one but I had seen and when I had a party, a Stampin' Up! party, the lady showed us on the folder how you ink up the folder and then you can stamp a deer or you can stamp a car on the actual embossing folder run it through your cuddle bug, that's what I have and it'll be embossed and colored at the same time so I tried that and the first one I tried with I think it was of the deer and this isn't a this stamp or this embossing plate I think was too the trees were too wide so when I stamped it wasn't this deer it was a different deer when I stamped it you seen like his head here and part of his tail like it it wasn't nice and also it went all across the trees as well because I used, um, what did I use? Distress inks, and I think it was too wet. And when it went across, it went across all the trees. So what I did was, I did do the same thing partially here, and it kind of worked, but it wasn't dark enough. So I went through in between the trees with my, um, my water pencils, and then just watercolored it a bit. And then this deer here, this is a die cut, and I cut that out. And then I just added some pattern paper on the inside. And then this one, I was playing with watercolor pencils, and this is watercolor cardstock. So I guess that's what it's called. Watercolor paper. So this is watercolor paper, and I just wanted to play with my watercolor pencil crayons again. So I stamped the image, colored it up with my watercolor pencil crayons, and this was a separate stamp. So I stamped it and cut it out. And then put a little, little sentiment on there. So that's the female... Um, celebration card so I just thought I would share that yes I'm I do actually have been doing a little bit of crafting I seem to be more journaling than anything else so those are the latest cards that I have made I made them for a swap and I hope you enjoyed so thank you everybody for watching and I hope you all had a very creative day today bye now <music>